Hello, this is Stafford from Adventure Kiteboarding. Just showing you a couple of differences between some Alula kites. Here we have the Ozone Vortex 9 meter. This is uh, their first Alula developed and designed and built kite. They build in their own factory in Vietnam. So on all the Alula material, the leading edge and the struts, that is manufactured in Canada, shipped to Vietnam, where the kites are assembled. So if you have any you know, personal concerns about manufacturing in China. Uh, as far as we know, there is no China content in this kite at all. The canopy is Japanese. The Taijin is a Japanese manufacturer. So um, there's some question about where the valves come from on pretty much everybody's kites. I can't verify, but supposedly it's an Italian company that manufactures in China. <laughs> but, okay, so there's that. All right, back to the kites. So the shapes of these two are uh, not that different, except that the Psycho is a five strut, and in this case we've got a 10 meter here versus an Ozone Vortex nine meter. Uh, one thing about the Ozone, they do have a number of sort of mini battens. This is uh, just sort of like a uh, I don't know, rubberized sort of plasticky mini batten sort of feeling thing. There's two of those there between the struts. And then the wingtips, there's an actual, what feels like a rod in there, some sort of fiberglass composite type rod on the wingtips. So there are some trailing edge mini batten type things there. No pulleys anywhere, front or back, on the ozone kite. High flow inflate valves with standard clamps covered with silicone. Regular Boston inflate valve and swept up angular wingtips. Now the Ozone, the Psycho, swept up but uh, like a radius wingtip. No battens anywhere and no pulleys. So this front bridle has no pulleys. I notice it is just a tiny bit longer than the bridle on the Ozone. Uh, might be that it's actually not longer, but there's more curvature to the shape of the Psycho. The, it's a little bit more C-shaped than the Ozone Vortex is a little flatter. Uh, again, high flow valves, the standard Nash system. They didn't try and skimp on weight or save any weight uh, by using like narrow tubes or mini valves or anything like that. So standard Nash construction with the SUP style inflate valve. All the bumpers and everything again are there, the wingtips. But again, what you don't have is any kind of mini battens or any kind of reinforcing sort of things for the trailing edge. A little bit different purposes in the kites too. This, this cycle is a little bit more of a, a double looping, um, almost kind of freestyle shape and a little bit more like possibility to unhook more effectively and um, then the Vortex is just more of that pure edge jumping shape. Still good for double loops and all that kind of stuff if you're an advanced rider. But more accessible to the average rider. It's a little less technical to fly to get the most out of it. This is, the Vortex is a little bit more pull in and jump. The Psycho is better for a more experienced rider with uh, better handling skills and uh, more advanced maneuvers under their belt already because this kite is gonna be just a little bit harder to access the performance for just an average person. All right, so there's the comparison. Then of course in the background, we have the Nash Pivot, totally different design, much more of an all-round kite. Talked about that in another video. Any questions? AdventureKiteboarding.com, info at AdventureKiteboarding, or 414-367-WAVE.